I'm looking at math page 1086, pages 12 through 13, and this covers scientific notation. And let's talk about this. Sometimes students are a little confused and trying to figure out when it's a positive exponent, when it's negative, which way to move the decimal, where it moves to. Let's take a big number like 58,000. By the way, scientific notation is used primarily for really big numbers and really small numbers. And uh, it's a shortened form, and it's very common in upper sciences to use scientific notation. So again, this is, this is an important concept that we need to master now and get a lot of practice over the next few years. And then when you get to chemistry and physics, and if you go on you, using your math and science, uh, you'll use it a lot. All right, so let's make this as simple as possible. I see this number, but you know what? I don't see a decimal. Where is the decimal if you don't see it? This is a comma, okay? So this is 58,000. So if you don't see a decimal, the decimal is at the end of the number, okay? Like a period at the end of a sentence is what I tell my students. To write it in scientific notation, I have to write one digit and then the decimal, and then, if there are other digits, times 10 to an exponent, to a power. The decimal has to go between, or right after, I should say, right after the first non-zero digit. So that would be going right to there. So I'm gonna write the five, then the decimal, there's an eight that comes after that. So I moved it between the five and the eight. Now I go back and I count how many decimal places did I move the decimal? I moved it one, two, three, four places to get it between the five and the eight. Don't jump to the conclusion that you're counting zeros, okay? Because you'll, you'll get them all wrong if you do that. We're not just counting zeros. We are moving it all the way between the five and the eight, which is four places, okay? Let's try it on this one. The decimal starts here and has to go all the way to right there between the seven and the nine. So in scientific notation, I would write 7.9 times 10. Okay, that's just part of the format. How many times did I move the decimal? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times to get to there. All right. The number 6,000. That just has to move three times to get between the six and this first zero. So six times 10 to the third power. Now we could go backwards the other way. If they gave us six times 10 to the third, then I would start with the decimal here and move it one, two, three places and fill in with zeros. If I started with 7.9 times 10 to the seventh, then I would start here and move the decimal once to get it behind the nine and then one, two, three, four, five, six more places for a total of seven places and I would have this number. Okay, this is called standard form. This is called scientific notation and in scientific notation there's only one digit. This is important. Okay, one digit and then a decimal comes right after that. So don't write 58 times 10 to the third or you'll have it wrong, okay? It has to be between those digits. Now let's come over here and look at these very small numbers. <coughs> Notice the decimal is present here, I see it, but now instead of moving it to the left, I have to move it to the right. And again, the rule is the same, it has to move between, or I should say right after the first non-zero digit. So that's going to be four point, and then I tack on the five. And how many places did I have to move to get it there? Three places, but I'm going to put a negative in front of it because I'm moving the decimal to the right instead of to the left. Okay, move it to the left. We use a positive number. If I have to move it to the right, I use a negative number. Those are the only two options, okay? So I have to memorize it, keep it straight. All right, for this one, the decimal is going to go, where do you think? Between here and here? At the end? No, it's going to go right here after the seven, seven point. 
2, 5. All right, and then we always tack on the times 10, and now we have to count. How many places do I move the decimal to get it there? All right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 places, so a negative 5. All right, one more here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I have to move it 9 places to get it between the 2 and the 3. So 2.3 times 10 to the negative 9. See how that is so much easier than writing out that long number? So this is the shortcut way, scientific notation. Hopefully that helps you in doing a couple of those pages around page 12 and 13.